Alright Tim, so the spinning back kick. Uh, we're going to build on the side kick that we're already working on uh, at about the same sort of range initially. Right? So this is kind of your mid-range spinning back kick. The key concept is that uh, as I set this up, normally for my side kick I'll be kicking off that lead leg. Right? For the spinning back, we're just going to add a little 180 turn. We're going to throw that off our back leg. Okay, so I screw up to the bag, imagining that my side kick is coming side on here. And then roll my shoulders as far through as I can, winding up the hips for a really powerful shot. I look over my shoulder and I bring the guard around to try and defend anything that's coming through while I'm turning. So I'm squared up, I'm going to roll the shoulders, and then I shoot my kick out in a straight line down that channel uh, as a side kick technique. All right? So the setup is really, or well, the, the spinning part of the spinning back kick really is, is like a step over, or a look over, side kick. All right? So the, the technique's really similar. But what makes it so hard is the accuracy. Because when I'm turning, if I get the degrees of rotation a little bit off, my foot's gonna skip past the bag either side. So my leg being fully extended, it moves a lot when my center is a little bit off. So I just have to learn how to be really precise about that 180 turn to make sure that we end up connecting with the target because uh, it takes quite a bit of energy to do this kick and you uh, become a little bit vulnerable mid-movement so you really want to make sure that's worthwhile and that we don't waste any shooting our foot off on the wrong angle right? so uh, mid to long range spinning back kick making sure that we turn the right amount to connect with the bag and then coming straight back to our stance